Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters in the Elmer team. Today talking about a couple of different ways that you can maximize your retirement money with your home. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm here to talk about some lesser known ways in which you can really benefit your future retirement or maybe you're in retirement and by using your home's value. Now obviously there's a lot of well-known ways that you can use real estate for investment purposes for long term like buying multi-unit properties or rental properties and using that for your retirement portfolio. Some lesser known ways that you can actually utilize your own home to do some retirement planning is what I'm going to talk about today. So one of the things that you can do is called Prop 60 and Prop 90. So what this does is it allows you to carry your current tax base to another property of equal or lesser value. So not as many people know about this as really they should, but it allows somebody to take, say, a, a four-bedroom house that's two-story and move their money to a smaller home, either one-story home or perhaps a condo or something that's of equal or lesser value to their current property, and downsize that home and yet carry their tax base with them. Because let's say you bought 20 years ago, your tax base is much lower than it would be today. That really can have some beneficial tax savings. Plus, if you're downsizing, the assumption is too that you maybe own your own home free and clear or you have a very small loan balance on it. So this can be a great option to help you save a lot of money. Now another option within Prop 60 and Prop 90 is to actually buy into a duplex. Now, this can be a great option if you need some additional income. So again, let's take that same scenario. Let's say you have a, a four bedroom, two story home, and let's just say it's worth uh, 900,000. Now you have to buy a primary residence that's equal or lesser value. So you can go to another home that's 900,000 or less, or you could go to a duplex, for example, and let's say that duplex is worth a million too. And let's say it's a 50-50 split as far as what your primary residence would be for the ease of math. And so that would put the home value at 600,000 for the portion of the home that you would be living in. So you would have a reduced basis based on your old property for the portion that you would be living in. And then you would have an adjusted basis for the other portion, but it would be a significant tax savings for you. Plus, you could rent out the other portion of the home and continue to increase your income over the years as rents continue to rise. So this can be a great option, and I can certainly look at this if this is something you're thinking about with you. The other thing, obviously, is you can cash out of a home and move out of state. Many people are doing this when their grandkids are being born and uh, want to be closer to family. The other option, too, is you can get a reverse mortgage against the home. And this is not always for everyone. This is really something that if you don't plan to leave the home to a family member or children, then this may be a great option for you. Otherwise, the home equity does start to get eroded away and eventually it will have to be either paid back if you want to pass it along to family or the property will have to be sold. If you have questions about this or any other real estate related questions, feel free to give me a call my number is 562-316-2915, or you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.